Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. This is the fourth video of a series where we will see how to use libraries in Angular. In this video, we will see how to create and publish an Angular library in the NPM registry. So, let's get started. In the previous video, we created the client1 and client2. And if you remember, in client1, we have inside the projects a library with name mylib. If we open mylib, we will see that here we have the packageJSON which has the details and the name of the library itself. So let's start immediately with the packageJSON. I changed the packageJSON a bit so that we have more information here. And what we have is the name of the library. Please note that it doesn't matter what is the name of this library here and the name of the library in the Angular workspace. MyLib is the name of the Angular workspace, whereas this one, the code shots with Profanis lib, is the name of the package that we will publish into the NPM. We have the version, we have a description, some keywords, and also the author details and the repository. These are the details that I added additionally from the previous video. To publish a library into the NPM, we first have to create a user. So let's go to the browser and I will go to the npmjs.com. The first step is to hit this button, the sign up, and you have to fill in the form username, email address, and your password. I won't do this step since I am already signed up user and I will sign in. On the top right corner, we can see the avatar and if we click it, we can see the second menu item is the packages. Let's click this option. And here we can see the packages that we have in our profile. I currently have the NGXS history plugin and what we're going to do now is to create one more here. The second step, since we have the user, is to go to the VS Code into the terminal and use the command npm add user. And this will ask for username and we'll add the username that we added during registration, your password here, and the email. As soon as you do this, you're already logged in. And how do you verify that you indeed you are logged in in this terminal? What you can do is the npm who am I? And we can see here that we have my username, which is Profanis. After having done this step, we can move on to the next step, which is to build our library. So I will do ng build and the name, which is my lib. This is done, and now I have to publish it. I will go to cddist, my lib, and I will simply run the command npm publish. And it seems that we have our first library into the npm package registry. We have it. Code shows with Profanis. Let's click and see the details. This is the repository and the home page. Let me go back into the VS Code. This repository, these details correspond to here. Also, we have the version, we have the license, I didn't specify anything, the total files, and of course, the readme file here, which is the default from Angular CLI. And the question now is, how can I install this? How can I use it? Like a normal NPM package, right? So I will click here, the installation, and just paste it. Before entering this command, it's very important to do the following. I will go to the Explorer, and in the previous video, what we did is that we created this file, the .npmrc. The .npmrc file contains configuration for the NPM to know how to behave when we install packages. In this file, we have only the registry, which is the path the NPM should look at. Since we will use the default npm registry, we do not need to have this file. So I will delete this.
and I will also delete the npmrc file from the client too. And now we can install this command. Let's open the package.json and what we can see is that we have, this is it, code source with profane lib. And how can we use this now? If you remember what we have into our library in the projects, mylib, src, in the public API, we have this module and we also have this component. The module name is mylib module, and I will go back, and we can see that the component, the selector is lib mylib. Let's close everything, and I will go directly to the tsconfig.json, and I will replace the path. And instead of profanislib, I will replace it with code shots with profanislib. And I will go to client one, kill the server, and run. And it seems that it works. Code source with profanis. This is what we have. And if we're wondering how to do any change, let's go again to the mylib component in our library. And I will do code source with profanis update. Always, whenever we do any change, even a slight change in our library, we have to increase the version. So from 3, I will go to 4. And now, again, what are the steps? ng-build and the name of the library, which is mylib. And let's again go to cddist mylib and simply go like npm publish. Please note that if you immediately reload the page, it might not appear immediately your latest change, so I'll give it some time. And this is it, we have the latest version. Now let's go back to the client one, let's kill the server, and you know what, I will copy again this, and I will be like, I'm going to have the latest. And just now, ng-serve. And what we expect to have, in the browser we should see this update. And here it is, update. So this is it. This is how we publish a library into the NPM. And you might be wondering now, how can I delete a package? Like we publish, we have to unpublish. So NPM unpublish, this is the command. And you have to define here the name, which is code source with profanis. You have to specify the version you're going to unpublish. And I will go with, let's start with the third one, 003. So the third version is no longer here, and we can even do the same with the latest version, which is the fourth. Let's again go back to the browser, reload, and voila, we have the 404. So this is it. In a nutshell, in order to publish a library into the NPM, you have to create a user, you have to log in, then you have to build, publish, and install. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.